Hey guys, so I just wanted to check out the performance here between these two small phones. We do have the iPhone 7 and the uh, Sony Xperia X Compact. I did actually do a test with the water, well the soda test on the X Compact and it seems to be waterproof. So we're going to see how they compare here. Obviously the iPhone 7 is a little bit more expensive, well nearly twice as expensive uh, where I am but does it give twice the performance we're gonna check it out here uh, personally I'm not so sure really you can see it does have a uh, very good boot up speed obviously Sony is going with a bit more mid-range specs with the X compact but it still does the job day to day you know I've been very impressed with the optimization that is the main thing uh, so basically you can see we've closed everything down here on both of them and by the way for those who are wondering is the camera still working yes it is you can see I took this shot recently and it's very crisp and clear so nice uh, waterproofing here I wouldn't try it at home though if I was you you know I don't want to be blamed for anything so we're going to see the speed here between the two of them and uh, we are running iOS 10 obviously here which is uh, very nice uh, but so far you can see the Xperia is pretty much keeping up with the iPhone Probably a little bit faster with the settings there on the left. And quite similar for the camera, maybe the iPhone again, it was tough to see. Uh, we do have some inbuilt apps. Uh, so I'm not signed in on the X Compact, but music very similar and we do have some other things here uh, I think asphalt so very quick on the iPhone there as you can see Whoop. do we have hmm don't have too much to be honest where did all my apps go there we go again X compact this one's quite slippy as you can see uh, which usually I don't like but because it's Sony I'll give it a pass and uh, what else do we have Wow, we don't have much. So, generally, you can see here, you know, both of them are very uh, similar in terms of the day to day performance, if we're to be honest. I mean, maybe slightly faster with the iPhone 7, but not the massive difference I was expecting, uh, really. So, we can just move on now to do some web browsing because web browsing is quite important so we're going to check out Daily Mail here and go go oops Let's go back go yeah so the iPhone loaded the page a little bit faster there you know not uh, too far behind on the Sony though and probably a little bit smoother to load the pictures etc on the iPhone which is good uh, we're going to have a look at a link here you can keep it steady go 
yeah you can see so the iPhone a little bit quicker there another one GSM go iPhone again here Sony that time uh, one more for the win uh, what do we have uh, phone arena go yeah a little bit quicker here again with the iPhone uh, so maybe the iPhone offering a little bit of advantage there when it comes to web browsing uh, which is good we're finally seeing some you know performance when it comes to the investment and we're just going to go back into some multitasking here you do get three gigs of RAM now on the Sony and as you can see you know both of them very good when it comes to the multitasking here very similar I do like the, the speed of the Sony when it comes to this it just seems to be no nonsense compared to a lot of the androids with all their floatiness a little bit faster with the camera here recovery check out the game yeah a little bit faster but you know I'm very impressed with the X Compact as a phone really you know it costs half the price uh, it uh, comes with some nice things like quick charge uh, a little bit of waterproofing it seems expandable storage physical shutter button bigger battery the list goes on really more RAM so I think you know you should uh, certainly consider these things when you're looking at these two phones uh, obviously the iPhone 7 does provide very good performance but uh, you know, I think uh, the actual day-to-day -day stuff isn't isn't that different really. Uh, you're also getting Type C as well, which is quite a nice bonus. Uh, if you're really looking for a high-end Sony, probably worthwhile waiting for the XZ. That will be coming obviously uh, very shortly, hopefully next week actually, and uh, that's getting some good reviews even from pro iPhone websites. So. Definitely looking forward to that, but you know, if you haven't got the budget for that, the uh, the X Compact is proving to be a little marvel here. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison. Hope you find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.